In the headlines this past week, the U.S. announced they might ban TikTok. Look, I'm not going to pretend that TikTok isn't a net negative. There are so many horrible things uh, that are the result of TikTok. Uh, things like challenges that kids do, like the Tide Pods, uh, also all the rampant child exploitation in all its kinds of forms. You know, the addiction of scrolling for hours and hours. And look, I've been guilty of scrolling for a long time myself so and look i completely agree with what melissa doherty said in, right here but uh there aren't only negative things about tiktok uh, before we continue please consider subscribing i love for you to be part of the community and leave comments below i love interacting with you guys in the comments and, and sharing our thoughts about the word of god look tiktok is one of the most popular social media platforms frankly, that's ever existed. You have pretty much every generation on there now. It used to be only teenagers, but now it's everyone. And something that I've always said is, if Paul were alive today, if the Apostle Paul were alive, with his desire and passion for apologetics and desire and passion for preaching the Word of God, you don't think he'd be on every available platform preaching to everyone? In my humble opinion, yeah, I think he would be on TikTok. I mean, you have to preach where people are. Paul went to the public square even when he wasn't allowed and, and he was arrested. He went there because that's where the people were. So one of the biggest reasons I actually like TikTok is simply that of apologetics. There have been so many great apologists that I've only discovered through TikTok. Sure, there's a horrible, horrible side and it's a big side of TikTok that is dancing and gross sexuality and US propaganda from the government. I mean, I can keep listing off horrible things that TikTok has done and contributed to, but, but something that, but the way it's actually ministered to me is all the amount of Christians, genuine Christ followers that are preaching the word to the lost world. And that's incredible to me. Hey, here are a few of my favorites. Someone I hadn't even heard about before YouTube was Cliff from Ask Cliff. Here's a clip of his. The reason I cannot be an atheist, say there is no God, is because there are six miracles that every atheist believes in. But there's no miracle worker. First miracle. Existence comes from non-existence. The Big Bang. Second miracle that my atheist friends believe in is... Order comes from chaos. Third miracle that my atheist friends believe in. Life comes from non-life. Fourth miracle my atheist friends believe in is the personal comes from the non-personal. Fifth miracle that my atheist friends believe in is reason comes from non-reason. And sixthly, my atheist friends have a sixth miracle they believe in, and that is Morality comes from matter. That's a miracle. One of my favorite things about Cliff is his approach to apologetics. He spends most of his time on college campuses and his videos, and he has such a gentle approach, and he's so humble and kind-hearted, and he really gets that across in all his videos that, that are on, online. He also has a YouTube channel, so I'd highly recommend you actually checking them out. Uh, someone who is, I think, mostly only on TikTok, he might have a YouTube channel, I'm not sure, uh, he goes by Theist Brooks or Brooks Phillips. Here is one of his clips. Elon Musk X deserves zero of the negative feedback that Christians are giving him. All right, let's hear it. Treated so poorly for so long by that community, and they are shocked that he's taking his power back. You're not ignorant of the fact that people are mistreated. As Christians, we ought to condemn that. But his experience does not mean the way in which he is taking his power back is justified. Disrespecting and mocking a whole religion is not proportional. Two wrongs don't make a right. But the Christians criticizing him, you don't get to decide how he heals from what your religion did to him. This is absurd. Globally, Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world. Suppose in other countries, the persecutors said the same thing. You think they should not be punished or criticized because they claim harming Christians is healing to them? That way to heal should obviously be criticized. I don't care if you say it wasn't you, or it wasn't your denomination, or your type of Christianity, it doesn't matter. Again, this is absurd. Imagine I use the same reasoning for any other type of group. Suppose I was harmed by some people that belong to a certain race or another religion or culture. Is it therefore justified to mock and disrespect the entirety? We are trying to defend the oppressed, but use the same reasoning as the oppressors. God bless. What's great about him is he's young 
Uh, he's also really kind-hearted and genuine, but he's also intellectual. He really understands the issues, and he responds to everyone, and I would say school is everyone as well. Another one of my favorites is an organization called Abolitionist Rising. So they are an anti-abortion pro-life group, and they're Christians, and you can kind of really see all the vitriol and hatred that they get. So let's just check this more innocuous video. I, there's so many things that are contradictory in the Bible, and that's because like which so ones? Like, people. I got some time, and I have some knowledge, but some of it may have to like go study. But like, what's like a a hundred? How could you uh, hate people who lie with another man? Like men who lie with another man. Well, it doesn't mean you hate them. Where does it say you're supposed to hate them? Not hate, but it didn't say it didn't say you can. It doesn't say you have to hate them. Yeah. Hate. Hate is an actual emotional state. I think you're to love people in the knowledge that all people are sinful. I don't, I don't practice homosexuality, right? One of my favorite but, sayings is there's but you no could, hate like a Christian's love because there's so much that Christians We could talk about all love. sorts of bumper stickers, but, well, but there's so much that Christians why don't we just stay on what we were talking about? That by any outside perspective is just a manifestation of hate being slapped with the label of love. Do or do not. There is no try. But do you want to get back to... Yeah, so they have tons and tons of videos about um, his public intercession for the lives of these children that are being aborted in the womb. Uh, I've made a couple different videos about abortion, like my Dune video that is getting a lot of hate from Dune fans, and I might make a follow-up soon, and as well as my just video about abortion and what the Bible says about it. And look, there are tons of other Christian apologists on there who are putting their clips on there. Uh, people that I love on YouTube, and I love seeing their stuff on TikTok as well. But look, I fully understand why it, it should be banned. And if it does get banned, like Melissa said, I'm not going to be super upset. Um, people will always flock to Instagram or YouTube or whatever in the U.S. or find their way around it. But those are some of my favorite apologists that I've seen on TikTok. What are some of yours? I didn't mention all of them. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video about some of my favorite apologists, period. So what do you guys think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and God bless.